All right, guys, I'm big time real man in it here today. I don't know why I like doing this stuff so much, learning, figuring new stuff out. I did trim work before at my other house, my, my first house. Not the, not the one you guys know of, but the one before that. Um, so I did baseboards before, so I'm doing, I have to, I have to do some, some finished trim here. So what I'm doing is putting in a, um, I'm putting in just a cedar one inch or one and a quarter inch furring strip. So that way I can then, um, you know, bring in the, the door trim. I wanted to do fancier trim, but this is the only stuff they had in pine. I don't want to do MDF out here. Plus, I don't have enough room between this um, to do a, a fancier trim. So anyway, what I'm going to do is put the put the, um, the one and a quarter inch ring, or whatever heck we call this thing, throwing strip, just so that I have something to cap off and nail my door uh, door trim around. So if you real got real men, real carpenters and stuff like that, if you, if you uh, don't yell at me, I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. So yeah, 93 and three quarters. I'm glad I finally bought this thing, this miter saw. I, I'll probably get a lot more use out of it than I, than I think. shave just another tiny bit off of it that's where a real man wouldn't uh, have to cut twice or maybe maybe three times yeah three times now I cut a little too short this thing is amazing they don't need any air compressed air He's doing it with a battery. I gotta figure out what color this cedar is. Probably don't need the nails this close together, but. Yeah, I'm glad I bought the angled nail or it's just easier to get in to the right spot. Anyway, I'll finish the other side here. All right, so I figured I'd do one piece before I did it on camera. I actually didn't screw it up. I should have just done it from the beginning. So you can see, just put in a very simple door trim setup. It's kind of weird because I got the cedar meeting, sort of the more modern, the rustic meeting the modern. But obviously I'll have to paint the cedar and now that just keeps it, gives me a clean sort of door frame. So I'll show you how I did that on the top piece here. I always do this to remind myself so I don't cut it the wrong way. So you need to make this cut first. This one needs to go the opposite 45, that way. There's a little needle on this thing on my table saw that shows me what 45 degrees is. Lock it in at 45. It really doesn't matter where I cut this. I just want to cut the end off. This is where it gets a little tricky. It's 
just got to keep it flush. Honestly, I don't know if it's better to do the uprights first and then lay in the top. I, I figured it's better to just follow the line here. Okay, so there's number one. I'm nice and tight. Luckily, I can reach eight feet. My other mark. Let's check it. Should fit right in the corner there. Yep. Okay. Lock the sucker in. <clears throat> Not bad, Maddie. blue collar in me yet. Yeah. The problem is the darn header, so... More nails, the more more putty you gotta put, but. The audio here's a little jacked up, so I'll just voice over it. Um, just showing you the, the baseboards in the, in the room. I didn't shoot any video of it, um, mainly because the electrician was there and it looked like, a, I didn't want to look like a complete crazy. Um, but uh, I filled all the nail holes. I've got one more piece to do over there in the corner, just to sort of give you an idea of what it looks like you know when the walls are straight you have gaps and, and things like that so you can see the one spot where I tried to hit a hit a stud uh, put about 50 nails in um, then the electrician puts uh, he's just putting a box uh, behind the pressure washer uh, rather than because it, it comes with a German power connection uh, so instead we just sort of cut it and made a pigtail and then terminated it in the box uh, which you, know, you, you don't see because it we'll, we'll put the cover over top. Anyway, it's looking All good. Right, guys, just give me an update. The boring stuff I didn't video. Um, I did the finish the baseboards. I did the door jam. Um, we wired up the pressure washer. I put the cover back on the pressure washer. Um, the electrical panels in. Outlets are in. Um, fans are in. Switches are in. Um, lights are active. I just need to get the, the lights. The uh, lights should be here. I don't know. Who knows when? Um, some of them are coming Monday. The others are coming uh, after that. Um, so what I did was, um, and I did this myself. Uh, I put the trim in around the door frame. I did the, and I'll show you in a second here. I trimmed out the entire sort of baseboards. Um, and then filled them with uh, like a wood putty, filled all the nail holes, um, followed with um, a, um, a latex caulk around the top. Uh, and then I painted them with a, with sort of like an off-white, it's called duck white uh, from Sherwin-Williams. It's a satin, satin paint. Um, uh, obviously I taped the floor. Um, and then the next, uh, next thing, I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow because it's getting kind of, the, when the sun isn't shining this way, it's harder to harder to see. Um, so what I'll do is I'll tape the top edge of the uh, of the trim, and then just line it up with the Harbor Gray, so I have a nice sort of solid line. I also need to touch up the ceiling a little bit here, um, the edge, edging on the ceiling. Um, but uh, you know, paint is paint is is coming together. Um, I'll also have to 
you know, just sort of tie up the wires on the fans. The fans are awesome in here. Really, really cool. Um, I, uh, you know, they're loud, but I don't care. It keeps, you know, drops the temperature in this room probably 15, maybe 20 degrees. It, it makes a huge difference. Otherwise, I'd be out of here sweating like crazy. Instead, I can stay out here comfortably. It's about 95 degrees outside. So I did the baseboards. Notice it's taped. So the flooring's done, baseboards are done. Um, all I need to do is touch up the walls. Um, so I'll do that next. So the baseboards all the way around. Because the cabinets will be floating, so the baseboards, is, it was important to me to, sorry, focusing issues here. It was important to me to get that all uh, the whole thing done. You know, I'm not a particularly great trim carpenter, but it looks good. Good enough for, for me. And I'm, you know, pretty anal. Um, so I had to do the, you know, the, the little joints over here with the 45s. And then you come up to you know, the door frame, which I did here. Framed up the door. It goes up eight feet, all the way up there. And so we've got the Kranzel on the wall with the cover on, which looks amazing. Um, I've got the deionizer. So now, um, I don't know, the plumber didn't show up today, so it must not be a priority. It's okay, because he, I think he wants to do copper, but I, I, I'd really like to do T316 stainless. Uh, and I found some cool, uh, somebody recommended a really cool company called Sage Lock. You know, one of our, one of the other sort of Ute followers um, um, made a suggestion that I looked that up. So I might, I might just be able to do it myself. Because what, you know, what we need to do is I need to come out of the wall here. So here's my, my bib. So I got a threaded outlet. So you need to come out, whatever that is, three inches up. I need to fit a valve in here somewhere. So to turn it off, I need a bypass. Which will come down to here, another valve, valve here. So valve, 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 and then over into the pressure washer. So, um, but what I'm going to do for now, uh, I'm going to just stick the hose in from the, uh, from, from the side here and take the screen out and just run it into the, the side of the pressure washer, um, you know, right, right through the window here on the side. But anyway, the room's coming together, it looks super clean, which is, you guys know, which is what I like. Flooring looks good, baseboards look good. I can't wait to do the cabinets the fans so next couple of days I'll be working on the cabinets and the TV and all that stuff all right it's Saturday morning I'm finishing up the baseboards here and they look really good um, so now I just need to touch up the walls I always find that I get the best looking lines if I tape it and then just, so I over painted the top of the, the baseboards and I'll follow with with uh, the other uh, paint on the walls to sort of finish up the job. You just have to make sure you keep the line nice and straight. Painting is one of those things, I, I, it's kind of like moving to me. I kind of enjoy it. I mean, to a certain extent, and then when you're hours into it, then it's, it's annoying, but it's like one of my, one of those things that I'm sort of uniquely 
suited to do well. It's painting. You know, and painting, uh, painting to me is a lot like detailing where, you know, I have a way that I do it. It's not necessarily the right way or the wrong way. It just happens to be the way that I, I, I've sort of figured out how to do it over the years. But, you know, what works for me might not work for somebody else. So I'll just go around taping the top of the baseboards. And I'm sorry I didn't, uh, I didn't share the putting up or, or actually installing the baseboards. The, there was just too much going on yesterday for me to stop and get decent footage. There's people in and out of here, you know, delivering cabinets and the, the electrician and we just kind of got sidetracked. I learned how to do baseboards. I, uh, my first house, we did everything sort of construction grade. And so I did it all myself after the fact. And so I was able to sort of learn how to do a lot of stuff. really not super difficult. I mean, I could have done a cleaner job, but it looks good. Way better than anybody else's pole barn wash bay. Maybe not anybody else's, but most people's dedicated wash bay. <laughs> I don't think there are many, very many crazies out there we have this kind of thing. Maybe there will be more now that I've shared the how to do it. I'm sure some of you guys have added it to your list. If you didn't have it on your list already of dreams a dedicated car washing bay. What did my sister-in-law call it? It's something that insulted my uh, level of crazy. It was, uh, what did she call it? Shoot, I can't remember. And I corrected her and said, no, 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 this is a dedicated car washing bay. This is not a, uh, place where you get the hose out and wash your car. It's much more than that. So that leads me to something that something I I didn't realize I cared about. I don't I don't think I've mentioned this in the videos before. But I really don't like it. I didn't know this. But I really don't like it when people call this stuff a hobby. And I know I should, probably shouldn't get, and I don't get bent out of shape, but I just, I realize that I don't, I don't do hobbies. There's, there's no, hobby to me is, is something you kind of do halfway. For me, I don't have hobbies, I have obsessions. So it, it kind of insults my, sensibility a little bit when somebody says oh you you have a hobby and I probably shouldn't have that thought but just being real here I love the look of clean white baseboards 
you know, baseboards are the one place that I, I prefer to have a satin finish. I just like the contrast of flat walls. A flat wall and then a, a satin, satin trim. So, actually this is semi-gloss, which would be a little bit, sh a little more, a little more of a sheen than, than satin. You know, so this takes a little bit of a time a little bit of time and effort to get the tape right, but then I can just blast through this and be done in minutes. And I don't think many professional painters tape. They just edge it. It's just one of those spots. And like, I wouldn't tape a ceiling. I would just edge it you know, with a brush, with a two inch angled brush. But on the floor, the lines to me are more important. I can, you know, I'm always looking down. For some reason, I'm always looking at baseboards. <laughs> sort of judging your uh, your character by the uh, by the line on your baseboards, whether or not we're going to get along or not. <laughs> so if I come over to your house. I'm secretly judging you by how uh, how clean the lines are on your baseboards. <laughs> oh shoot! I'm just I'm sort of kidding, you know. And and sometimes you get a little bleed through, and then that's where I'll have to go back and just sort of touch it up with an edge. But you know, paint, painting to me is like that last, that last step that makes the room, you know, it's kind of like paint correction. <clears throat> you know, you can wash your car, you can, you can take care of it. But if you don't go that extra mile, then you don't get that extra result. And normally if I were rolling the walls, I'd leave the tape hang sit, sticking up like this so that I wouldn't get sort of overspray from the roller on the top of the baseboards. But again, the walls are already done, so I don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> so I've done a ton like a lot of painting in my life. Got many, many jobs young, you know, when I was younger. Painting, you know, doing general maintenance and things. You know, every house I've had, I've painted the whole thing. I've helped friends paint their whole houses. Um, So most of my painting, paint learning came from, you know, as a kid, working for, you know, general contractors and you know, painting trim and painting walls. And then when I was, when I was growing up, I worked at my, my community where we lived at a clubhouse. And so I worked at that clubhouse for about, you know, from the time I was 15 until I was like 22 or something like that. Or no, until I was about 19. Um, I basically painted that whole place at least twice. And so my, my one of my best friends and I, we, we learn how to paint through, through by fire. You know, painting doesn't really take a whole lot of skill if you don't care, but I care what it looks like.
I'm a big fan of, uh, which I think is sort of the general standard. Purdy, you know, normal Purdy um, brushes. They're, you know, they're like 15 to 20 bucks a piece. I always take good care of them and they last a long, long time. Usually I end up throwing them away because I want a new one. <laughs> because this isn't a new gallon, it's easier to just shake it than it is to stir it. You probably shouldn't open it on your new floor. So again, this is Benjamin Moore, the Ben line, flat. And this color is called Harbor Gray, which I really like. Especially in a smaller room like this. You know, I always have a tendency when I'm at the store, and I'm sure you guys are like this too, I always want to do, I want to make a dramatic difference in the color. And so I have a tendency to want to choose, and I did this, I learned this lesson in my first house. I'd have a tendency to choose, and I would normally, by the way, I'd normally dump, I'd dump some of this into a cup. But because this is gonna be a quick little slap it on here job, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. forget what I was talking about. Anyway, Benjamin Moore paint is, in my experience, it would cost twice as much, but it's twice as good. You know, if you're not super detailed like I am, like I very rarely get any paint anywhere, so I don't worry about covering everything up. Watch, I'll be on video and dump paint all over the place. The other thing I found that works best is I'll remove, and you don't want to glob too much paint on here, but I'll remove the tape right away before it dries. I find that it tends to work better. And again, on this bottom part, you don't want to put too much paint because then it bleeds through. So when I normally would, I normally dust both sides of the, the brush so that I don't get too much paint. You know, I'll, I'll wipe both sides like that, just so there's just enough on there. To, 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 to get it covered. I need some here. So I'm gonna go around the whole room and do what I just did. So I'll pull all the tape off now. Right away. I just find the tend to get a little less bleed through. I left the stuff on the, overnight, on the floor. I'm 
trim. It's always my favorite part. Pulling the tape off. Inevitably, there will be a few bleed through spots that I'll need to go back and touch up. Since these are wet, obviously don't let them touch anything. Come see daddy, come over here. Can you wave to everybody? Wave to the camera. Hi everybody. They don't get big, big, big tail. <laughs>